Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 10 Unforced Certification Errors. We'll be continuing from where we stopped last week. We'll look at a few subtopics that will include training, communication, attention to detail, and tools. If you do have questions to go through this session, drop a comment below and we'll address each comment. And if you need faster response, you can also send us an email at info at cg-navitronics.com. And we'll be sure to address your questions. Now let's delve in into today's session. Training is a vital part to equipping a team properly and successfully certify an article. Organizations that do not prioritize continuous learning and development for their teams run the risk of having teams that are not well equipped to support product certification. They also run the risk of having teams that have knowledge gaps, which can impact the quality of the documents that are required for successful certification campaign. Training also helps to improve understanding of a complex project. This enables members of the team to better understand the solution they're trying to create and better plan what resources are needed to accomplish this task. Communication is vital to aligning various members of a team to a set goal. Poor communication between cross-functional teams, such as the engineering quality assurance certification teams, can result in misunderstanding or misalignment of what needs to be done, what needs to be documented, and to what extent. One way of bridging this gap is through weekly team meetings, from sessions, and at times through emails. When creating or reviewing documents, it is vital that attention to detail be ranked high. Overlooking small but critical details in a document can lead to documentation that is incomplete, incorrect, or fails to meet the regulatory requirements. A tight time constraint can also contribute to poor review processes and impact the quality control measures, which results in errors and omissions within the document. Tools or automated tools could add a lot of advantages to the schedule. However, over reliance on tools without adequate manual review can lead to errors and omissions that go unnoticed. Though tools provide ease in development, however, there are limitations to the benefits tools provide. For example, a tool's output is determined on the quality of the input. So if the input for that tool has a lot of errors and omissions, the output will be a reflection of that. Tools have a number of benefits that outweigh the cons. However, it's important to note the drawbacks to tools to be able to optimize their use. The pros of using tools include the scalability of the tool, cost saving that it brings, the increased efficiency 
and the consistency in its performance. However, the drawbacks of tools are the inability to handle ambiguous inputs. There are also limitations to how you can customize the tools and the limitations to the complexity of the input a tool can handle. So while tools are ideal and bring a lot of value for generation of documents, it's important to note the limitation of the tools you utilize in generating various documents for certification. Thank you for joining us and we'll look forward to sharing more aviation knowledge with you. See you next time.